What do you want? I want prize money if I make the final. I've told you once. I won't tell you again, son. This is the Trilby Tour. Winner takes all. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated. Don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good, not talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Or watch the things you give your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they're gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common torch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Welcome to the magnificent Buckinghamshire Golf Club. I'm Max Beasley and for the next two hours I'm going to be your host for the William Hunt Trilby Tour Pro Final. To kick things off, let's hear from the man himself. The Pro Final is, uh, you know, we've upped the ante again. Uh, we've been really lucky in getting some, some great guys like David Howell, Graham Storm, Phil Archer, Phil Golding, Sam Walker, to come and show these guys how to handle the pressure and how they're going to Really, I mean, they, go, they, they do this all the time. So I don't expect them to feel the pressure as, as, the, as the younger guys coming through. However, should they qualify into the playoff for the winner takes all, let's see how they cope. Having spoken to them, I thought they'd be sort of doing, take this in their stride and it's, it's another round of golf for them, you know. But when I spoke to them, you know, it's like, I'm not sure they fancy the, the playoff at the end of it. It's, uh, it's a, a, you know, a game of golf where, where you want to win is a game of golf where you want to win. And we're on Sky on this, and they, they don't want to lose to, to, to anybody, let alone someone that they've never heard of. This is not a pro-am, and they're going to be playing against amateurs. And that, I underline that word, against. 
amateurs and this is one round of golf and you've got to have it out and swinging and uh, if you're not your history and then even when you get through you haven't won anything yet because you've got to go again and uh, it'd be great if we can get an amateur through at the final it'd be great if we can get a European tour player through and it'd be great if we could get a couple of unknowns that'll make it very sexy have we achieved what we set out to achieve with the Trilby Tour? Yeah, I think we have. Well, the original idea of the Trilby Tour was to put ordinary guys under the kind of pressure that I've been under myself in the sports I've played and some of the guys that are here with us today have, have felt. Um, and we, we definitely achieved that last year to an extent, but I kind of think this year we're going to overachieve. In 2008, the Trilby Tour came here to the Buckinghamshire with very positive results. During the two days of scorching sunshine, the Bucks staged two superb finals, with Irishman John Lynch taking the inaugural amateur title and England's Warren Bladen taking the second Trilby Pro title. In 2009, we're back at the Buckinghamshire for what should be a pro final to savour, decided over by one of the Trilby Tour's biggest fans, former Ryder Cup player John O'Leary. John O'Leary, come on son. Uh, the King of Golf invited us back. And, uh, you know, he, he made us feel so welcome last year, Mr. O'Leary. I love the books because it's got to be the people, really. It's so comfortable to be here. But the course is a, a bit of a bit of a nasty surprise here and there waiting for you around the corner. It's like, come on, have a little walk round. And then, oh, sorry about that one. And it just works for the Trilby Tour because it, it's just right on top of us. It's, it's like boutique golf, like our tournament, which is a boutique tournament. Now the setting of Buckinghamshire Golf Club, it's everybody that comes here says quaint, gorgeous. We've been blessed by nature, the magnificent building of the clubhouse, uh, the wildlife, uh, which has multiplied since the course opened. The herons, the swans, the mutt hens, the river column, famous fishing river, running by the side of the clubhouse, just to name a few of the beautiful things that are here. And I think probably the most unbelievable thing about the course is that you turn left out the main entrance and you're in the capital city of London in 25 minutes. Pros play so well today, they'll be able to cope with the course. Uh, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the three-hole playoff with the four players at the end of the day, which is so exciting because the, the, the day ends at the highest point with one winner coming out, which makes it unique to anything else. I do know William has had offers from continental Europe to take it there and from Ireland. I think William's just got to take his time and let this grow because he has something that's, that is so appealing. I mean, for an amateur golfer to be put in a position as if they were playing in the last day of a major pro event. And some of the amateurs said to me, now I understand how the pros feel on the last day of a tournament because it touches places that other that other things have not gone to and the anticipation the style very very special like all great golf tours it's the supporters and sponsors that make things tick and the Trilby tour has great support I was introduced to William a few years ago by a mutual friend, business colleague, uh, who decided that I obviously wasn't looking smart enough, so took me to Savile Row and introduced me to William. And ever since then I've been hooked. And William had the idea at that time for the Trilby Tour, and he was looking for key uh, partners to work with on the Trilby Tour, who had the sort of same brand association as Savile Row, and he was looking for upmarket and quality. It's been a good association. You know, not every sponsorship you do always works. You know, you've got to try different things, and some work and some don't, but this one for us has been a great success. The fact that it's now covered on TV is very important for us and for the continued sponsorship and, uh, and association with it. It's exciting, it's got a great buzz about it and uh, for us as a, as a holiday company it's got a great association.